Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Rage and Jermation. I want to welcome you guys back to my channel. Also, I want to thank you guys for joining me for another news story. So let me start off by saying that if you happen to be new to the channel and you like what you see tonight, or if you happen to like what you see on my previous videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Right next to that subscribe button, there is that notification bell. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get alerts and notifications every single time I post a new news, food, or possible vlog video. With that being said, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you already know what it is on my channel. We're going to talk about another shooting that happened yet again in our nation. This past Saturday, August 26th of this year, a man walked up to a Dollar General, and as he was walking up to the Dollar General, he walked up to somebody in their car, opened fire on them, killing them, and then he walked through the sliding glass doors, opened fire at random inside the store, killing two additional people. The person accused of this horrific crime is 21-year-old Ryan Christopher Palmiter. Let's go ahead and throw up a picture of this fucking clown for you guys. In the short period of time that this dude made his way through the Dollar General parking lot and then into the Dollar General, he would end up taking three innocent lives. The three victims have been identified. The first one is 52-year-old Angela Michelle Carr. She was the one that was killed outside the Dollar General. 29-year-old Gerald Galleon and 19-year-old Anult Joseph Laguerre Jr., also known as AJ. The last two are the victims that he killed inside the Dollar General after he went inside. Let's throw up the photos, have a moment of silence for the victims. According to police reports, Paul Meter murdered his innocent victims with an AR-15 style rifle that he had just purchased not too long ago legally, along with a handgun that was not used in the murders. But stay tuned because the handgun was definitely used. So let's go ahead and talk about the events that day that led up to the shooting. So apparently this asshole worked at that same Dollar General from October 2021 to July of 2022. The day of the shooting, Paul Meter left his house at about 11.30 and headed towards Jacksonville, Florida. At about 12.45, he was spotted stopping at Edwards Waters University, which is in an area that is highly populated by African Americans in Florida. He was spotted putting on a bulletproof vest and there's actual video of when the university officer spotted him kind of pulled into the same area just to kind of assess what he was doing. Let's go ahead and pull that up right now. So you got this fool digging through the back of his SUV and yes, what he's grabbing is a bulletproof vest. Here's where the university officer pulls up because he got a call of a suspicious person. And I mean, this fool's putting on a bulletproof vest. That's suspicious. The moment he tries to walk up to him and confront him, he smashes out of there real quick. I mean, he's out. As you can see, shortly thereafter, he fled the scene real quick. But not before the university officer was able to alert authorities of a suspicious person on campus. At about 1.10 is when he pulled up to the Dollar General, walked up to a black Kia that was occupied by 52-year-old Angela Carr, shot 11 times into the vehicle, killing her. That's when he walked into the Dollar General, killing two others as mentioned before, 29-year-old Gerald Galleon and 19-year-old AJ LaGuardia Jr. According to reports, this fucking asshole then let white and black customers flee the scene. About 20 minutes later, he locked himself into a back office and he texted daddy. Believe me, I 100% get the parent-kid connection, but you're going to cause a massacre like this, and then the first thing you want to do is call mommy or daddy? The fuck out of here, bitch. Seriously, man the fuck up and leave everybody else out of this. This is your doing, bruh. So he texted daddy, and he told him to go into his room. That's when his father walked into his son's room, found a suicide note, and a manifesto stating how much hatred that he had for black people or colored people for that matter. And with that being said, if you guys didn't know or figure it out by now, this whole entire fucking shooting was racially motivated. I mean, are we not in 2023? Whether we want to like it or not, racism will never go away. So shortly after police arrived on the scene, authorities stated that they heard one single gunshot. Can we guess what that is? Sure as fuck isn't somebody manning up, that's for damn sure. That one gunshot they heard was the gunshot that Paul Meter inflicted on himself. Killing himself right then and there, going out like your typical pussy. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. If you're going to do something this rash, you might as well just stick it out and go balls out, man. Take out some cops too. But other than that, you want to take out the most cowardless, just, you're, you're, you're a bitch, bro. You're the biggest bitch just like anybody else who does a mass shooting and then decides to go out the easy way. Bitch. Just another coward in the books. Back to this being racially motivated, it is said that the suspect used racial slurs during the killings and also had disgusting ideologies of hate. His AR-15 actually had racial markings, including swastikas all over it. Here's a pic.
So what do we have here yet again? A legally high powered rifle that was sold to somebody basically set into the wrong hands. I've said it multiple times, I'm all about the second amendment, but it seems like we're not doing enough to make sure that these guns are not being put in the hands of the wrong people. People that are mentally unstable. People that keep things all bottled up on the under and then eventually, legally, they can purchase these guns and let out all their anger on all the wrong people. It just seems like there's not enough steps to keep these guns out of the hands of wrong people. Two of the victims out being productive members of society working at the Dollar General, and then you have a lady that's just out for a regular day of shopping, sitting in her car, whether it be before she walked in or after she left. She's sitting in her car and she gets smoked, dude. That's fucked up. And then you have the epitome of a coward who causes all this commotion, goes into a room like a little bitch, locks himself in, calls daddy, and then kills himself. What a punk. There's so many families that are broken from this whole situation. My family and I's prayers go out to the families of the victims and I hope they can overcome this tragic nonsense that continuously goes on. Take lives and go out like a coward because you don't want to face the consequences. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what it is. This shit really does get exhausting. If it's exhausting to stay informed and to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings, then I'm willing to be exhausted as fuck. I want to thank you guys yet again for coming back and bearing with me through this tragic story. This is the news. It's fucked up shit. Hey, it is what it is. This is what goes on in the world around us. I can't thank you again enough for bearing with me through this story. It's hard to like what you just heard, but if you happen to be interested in the news, interested in the crime, interested in things that go around us, and you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love. Again, next to that subscribe channel is that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. That way you can get a notification and an alert every time I post a new news, food, possible vlog story. And also as well, if you have friends and family that like to hear about the news, whether it be good or bad, like to know about new food and food reviews, go ahead and share the video as well. I do appreciate that. Anything you guys wanna throw in your two cents about the story or any opinions that you might have about the story or any opinions that you might have about the video in general, drop a comment, start a conversation. I'm always open to other people's opinions and information or whatever they may have that I don't have. I try to do my hardest to do the research on these videos, try to do my hardest to make sure that I'm giving straight facts. Again, guys, you know what it is. I'm Rage and Jermation. Thank you guys again for coming back. Stay safe. Stay positive. We're all humans out there. Please try to treat each other as such. Dude, if you don't like a race, it's not that bad. If you don't like customer service, it's not that bad. If you got a problem with somebody, it's not that bad. There's so many different ways to dish it out. No need for you to buy a gun and kill people and if not, go out like a coward and kill yourself, ruin your life and spend the rest of your life in prison. Don't do that shit. Unfucking necessary. Peace.